This surprised me about Poshmark. Here's all your Poshmark questions answered. So we had an awesome chat with one of the Poshmark reps the other day. Um, we had some questions for ourselves and also a couple questions that people had dropped in our previous videos about Poshmark. So if you guys have further questions, please drop them in and we'll try and get them answered for you guys. But here's what we've learned so far. Postage, when you sell an item on Poshmark, your customer pays a 9.95 flat rate on top of what you have charged for the item unless it is over 2.5 kilos. If you sell a bundle or something over 2.5 kilos, then you as the seller are responsible for paying the difference on top of after the 9.95. So there is a table down below you can click on to see what the rates are. Yeah, we also asked them um, about if they're gonna be partnering with any other companies because Obviously, there's a lot of regional people that can't access Sendal at the moment. They did say that they are looking into either expanding the range with Sendal or partnering with someone like Australia Post to cover off those regions that are currently not covered because they do realize that is a massive part of Australia. So, But at the moment, it's Sendal. Yeah, so we'll deal with Sendal for now. Returns. So there is only a three-day window for the buyer to open a return once they receive the item, which is great for our sellers. And they can only return the item if there is an undisclosed flaw or issue with the item that you haven't put in your description. So make sure you're listing everything with any holes or damage. That way you're covered. They can't open any cases for items just not fitting. So that's great as a seller. I'm really happy with that approach and hopefully we see them following through with that. Definitely. We will still be providing measurements in the description though because we do want items to fit. Yeah. We don't want anyone to end up with an item that they can't actually wear. This surprised me about Poshmark. There is no public negative feedback. So for buyers, for sellers, they will only publicly show positive feedback left. But Poshmark can see the negative feedback on the back end. They just don't show it to anybody. Yeah. So what do you think? <laughs> I think it's a little bit risky, but as long as they're monitoring that and closing down accounts that are scammy. So hopefully we don't see any issues with that. Um, but interesting that that's their approach. Uh, the last thing we asked them about was our Vero items and they weren't really sure if they had a list so they're going to get back to us so we'll try and do a bit of a follow-up video for you guys mm -hmm. for items that you should be aware of obviously on ebay you have stuff like you know kevlar um you have velcro, velcro. <laughs> so we're sort of trying to find out if there's things on there that get picked up quite a lot as well at this point in time the rep wasn't able to provide that to us but we'll get back to you guys on that one as well and you just want to obviously be selling authentic items don't list anything on poshmark that is a fake or a counterfeit yeah. or a replica i think it's pretty much the same with every platform so thanks for coming along today if you guys have any more questions drop them in we'll try and get them answered for you guys really appreciate your support hit that subscribe button because we're doing two videos a week and we'll see you next time on twasy thrifters bye for now